Hey everyone, it's Erika and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back at it again with another Danganronpa Wheel of Fate video, but this time with the My Hero Academia characters. Now, I'm super excited to do this one because My Hero Academia is one of my all-time favorite animes. I know that it get, the anime gets a lot of mixed opinions, and I know that there are some people out there who have some very extreme opinions, but like my V3 video, I do not care. Because I'm just a guy who wants to enjoy an anime that I think is good, I'm not here for the drama. But anyways, so how this is going to work, I'm pretty sure most of you are familiar with the Danganronpa Wheel of Fate trend, so I won't need to explain that. But at the very least, I'll explain how my video is going to work. So each time I spin the wheel and it lands on a character, I'm going to write their name down in this doc and what their role in the killing game is going to be. Pretty easy. So yeah. Without further ado, let's dive right in and see who the protagonist is going to be. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Oh! Huh. Ida. Interesting. I always saw Ida as like the support character. I mean, yeah, Ida, for the mo yeah, that's, I kind of feel like that's Ida's role is to be the support for the protagonist, but at the same time, the interesting thing about My Hero Academia is that they, um, like, the characters aren't written off. Like, they go deeper into the, um, characters' backstories. A lot of shows do that. But, yeah, anyways, continuing on before I ramble. Um, so Ida's the protagonist, and who's going to be the support? Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Oh my freaking god! Yes! Hiroshima has a support! Yes! Okay, yes! Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, oh my god, Hiroshima would make an awesome support! Honestly, it'd be cool. I, it'd be cool if he was a support and Midoriya was a protagonist. Um, but, oh my god. Okay, so... I should probably mention who my favorite characters are. So my favorite characters are... Okay, number my number one favorite character is Bakugo. Okay, I know. I'm going to catch heat for that. So I'm not going to catch heat for that. So, but whatever. Yeah, my number one favorite character is Bakugo. My second favorite character is Kirishima. Um, yeah, Midoriya is... All, and then Midoriya is third. And I don't want to say Todoroki. I don't I don't hate him. Um, But I kind of feel like Todoroki is a little overrated. Don't hate me for this. Um, but yeah, anyway, so now we're going to see who the rival is. Who's it going to be? Eh? Oh. Mina? Really? That's interesting. Huh. Mina... Uh, Shido. Oh, you know what I forgot to mention? So, unlike my um, Danganronpa Wheel of Fate videos, I'm not going to come up with scenarios for the characters, just because there are some characters that we don't know much about, and I'd have to dig like really deep into some of the character into some of the characters. But at the same time, there are some characters where we're not given a lot of information. So for this one, I'm just going to spin the wheel and write down the name. Um, if a scenario does pop into my head, then yeah, sure. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stuttering. So, okay, so now that we have our protagonist, our support, and our rival, Mina, uh, Mina as the as the rival. That's interesting, considering that him that uh, that uh, Eiji, uh, Kirishima and Ashido knew each other in middle school. That's interesting. Okay. Now comes the scary part. Who is the first victim? <laughs> I'm scared. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Are you freaking <laughs> Really? Really? Okay, well our rival's dead. Uh Wow. That oh my god, Kirishima's gonna be pissed. What, if he, who, he's gonna be so mad. Oh my god. Okay, so who killed our rival? <gasps> no! Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! 
Och Ochako? What? Oh my god, they killed the two the two pinks. They killed the two pinks. What the Uraraka was the Oh my god, what the No, it's not with a K, it's with a C. Right? Yeah, it's with a C. Don't tell me how don't tell me how to correct my spell Ellie. Oh my god, what? I cannot believe we just Uraraka, no! Oh, I mean, I was gonna laugh if it was Mineta. How the hell? I mean, Mineta would never hurt a lady, but how the hell would he even kill Mina? Let alone, how the hell would he be able to kill a anybody? He's the shortest out of everybody here. Nay, no hate towards Mineta, but you know, if you've watched My Hero Academia, you know how he is. Oh man, so Uraraka and Ashido are gone. What the? Okay. God, that was a rough one. <laughs> okay, we're on chapter two. Who is the chapter two victim? Uh, are you freaking serious? <laughs> are you freaking serious? What the fuck? <laughs> Gary Shima, no! No, my bro! <laughs> no! Oh my god, I cannot believe. Right after Mina freaking dies, Kirishima freaking dies. What the hell? Uh, maybe he was just in a. Maybe he was in like a very sad mental state, and after. Oh wait, yeah. After Mina died. <laughs> my god. I mean, okay, so I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna come up with a full blown scenario for this, but we'll go get into that once we find out who the killer is. I mean, whoever the killer is, I'll see if I can make sense out of it, but most likely... I don't know. So who killed Kirishima? Sero! Seto. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Seto is the blackened. Alright, well, let me put his name down. Um... Sato. Okay, so this one I might be able to come up with a scenario with this, but only for Kirishima. Um, I don't know what the motive would be, because again, we don't know much about Seto. Okay, so it's, again, like I said, it's funny and not so funny that Mina died first, and then Kirishima dies after Mina, since, again, they did know each other back in middle school, and um, Kirishima, the reason why he's so... Um, passionate about manliness and um bettering himself I, no never mind so hold on scratch that the reason why he's so um passionate about manliness is because of what happened in the past with ashido with uh giganto makia when uh he was um i wouldn't say he threatened but he was more so scaring a, um students from kirishima's class and Kirishima saw this, but he didn't um, do anything about it. And then Mina um, stepped in, and she stepped in to be the brave one, and then Giganto Makia walked away, and then she ended up crying. And that kind of stuck with Kirishima, that in that time, he at that time, he didn't do anything, and he really beat himself up about that. And in a nutshell, Mina could have gotten hurt. So now, in this situation, I guess for Kirishima, it's a big deal, because he basically failed Mina yet again, and is beating himself up about it yet again, and then someone sees that as an opportunity to kill him, and in the end, Sarah's the one who kills him. Ah, uh, I don't even know what the motive would be, but like I said, I'm not going to come up with scenarios for this. Okay, so moving on, we are now on chapter three, the double murder. So, Seto, where is his picture? Okay. Seto is gone, and Kirishima, no! <laughs> okay, who is the first victim for chapter three? Aoyama! Oh, yeah. yeah, it's Aoyama. Aoyama! Okay. Darn. Yuga... Aoyama. Alright, and who is the second victim? Uh, 
Oh, oh, is it? Ah, oh. Oh, the fandom's gonna be mad about that one. Todoroki. Ah. Oh my God. Okay. Shoto Todoroki. Ouch, that one stung. <laughs> okay, uh, who killed Todoroki and Aoyama? Alright, oh, oh, oh. Asu, what? No, Asui. Aww. Asui is so sweet, though. Oh man, I mean, if it was gonna be Ida who killed him, I would be like, great, we have to do a protagonist switch, which actually actually also would have been sad, because okay, I was I was trying to avoid the ship thing because I know that there are some extreme opinions about that, but um, besides Midoriya and Bakugo, I guess Ida's like a uh, cl close third, maybe second, to be a ship with Todoroki. Um, not only that, but Todoroki and Ida have actually been growing a lot closer in the anime as friends. So yeah, I can kind of see why people would may or may not start shipping these two together. Uh, okay, so... Suyu Asui. I cannot... No! Oh, okay. So Asui is gone, Todoroki has gone, and Oyama has gone. Ugh, okay. I really hope I'm spelling their names right, um, just in case I do have the wi the wiki on a separate link, uh, just in case I need to see if I'm spelling their names right. But they are in the little squares, so yeah. Alright, now we're on to chapter 4. So who is the first victim, the first victim, the victim of chapter 4? No 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 Fudge no my man's no Oh that one stung the most Damn it Damn it I'm dead Bakugo no The victim's got to keep Bakugo Oh man, not my favorite character. No, this one struck harder than Kirishima. God damn it! <laughs> okay, who killed Bakugo? How would you even kill Bakugo? He's literally the most violent out of all of you here. Okay, who killed Bakugo? <laughs> Try not to manifest it, but it'd be funny if it was freaking Midoriya. <laughs> okay, Mo Momo. How she managed to do that? I mean, she's the smartest of the group, so... Okay. Could this be like a sacrifice chapter? Maybe. Or like an attempt to... Rose. Or an attempt to um, fight back against the, ma against the mastermind and it's a fail? Huh. Maybe these two could work together in this chapter, and they try to come up with a plan, but the plan doesn't go very well. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Momo's gone. She's actually... Yeah, she's another one of my favorite characters. And... My man, Bakugo! <laughs> no! Uh, well, now we're on chapter 5, and I know I'm jinxing this, but I'm surprised. We have a protagonist that's making it this far. Unless he ends up being the mastermind. Okay. Who is... We are on chapter 5 now. Who is the victim for chapter 5? I'm surprised Mineta managed to get this far. If he ends up being the mastermind, I'm, it's going to be just as funny as when Kokichi was the mastermind in my V3 video. Okay. Who is the victim of chapter 5? Sato. Okay. All right. Rikido Sato. All right. And who killed Sato? Are you freaking serious? 
Gr damn it. Damn it. <laughs> no, not sweet cinnamon roll. Midoriya. I mean, what better character to die off in Chapter 5 than Midoriya? I mean, Chapter 5 is, is the chapter where something big happens, and... Yeah. Okay. Tsuku Midoriya. Wait. Midoriya. The thing is, though, I can't see Izuku or Midoriya killing anybody. I mean, may we have something like in Super Danganronpa, um, Danganronpa Another Despair Academy where um, the victim gets killed by something else and then, Midor then the killer gets framed and the killer ends up taking their own life? Because um, that's what uh, Mikako did in Chapter 5. Uh, but I can't really see Midoriya... I mean, I feel like Midoriya would sacrifice himself to be executed. To be executed? I don't really see him, like, taking his life here and there. Like, here on the spot. Ah, okay. So, Sato is dead, and Midori... <laughs> no, sweet cinnamon roll, Midoriya's gone! Seriously, how... Okay, so the... Okay, so... Besides Kaminari and Tokoyami, a lot of the characters here are kind of like... Um... I don't actually. Mm, I want to say that these are kind of the characters that get the least amount of screen time. I mean, Mineta, he gets a fair amount of screen time. Ojiro, not so much. Koji, not so much. Shoji, not so much. Hagakure, not so much. Probably because you can't see her. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Jiro, yeah, she gets a fair amount of screen time. Tokiyami, he got a good amount of screen time. Kaminari gets a good amount too. And of course, I mean, we all know Ida has a good amount. Huh, so I guess it's like the the survivor uh, it's the survivor's lineup of underrated or underappreciated characters. I don't know. Uh, but we killed off so many good ones. Okay. So now we're gonna spin for the mastermind and we are also gonna find out who the survivors are gonna be. So I'm gonna laugh if it does end up being Mineta. Or Denki would be an interesting uh, mastermind, or Tokoyami. We shall see. So Wheel, who is the mastermind? Ooh! Tokoyami! Ah! Interesting. You know what? Um, when there were theories about, um... Kage Tokoyami. Okay, so... I know, so, before, was it season 5 or 6? Like, before, there was a point where the anime took a, ma took a major hiatus, and a lot of people were theorizing some stuff, and the manga readers in particular um, knew that there, there was a traitor amongst, actually no, it was mentioned in the anime, but the manga readers um, were theorizing about a traitor, or, I think this was the whole fandom, and a lot of people were thinking that it might be Mineta, or it might be Hagakure, or it might be Kaminari, um, maybe even Jiro, but I saw a lot of fan art for Kaminari, for Kaminari. Um, this is gonna, uh, this is gonna be a spo this is gonna be a spoiler, so fair warning, but the traitor ended up being Aoyama, which is kind of funny since he blended in the background, but, yeah, I've seen a lot of fan art for Tokoyama, Tokoyama, <laughs> Tokoyami being the traitor, so, even Sue, Sue was another one, I think I saw a couple where Tokoyami was the traitor, so yeah, it's kind of interesting, but wow, Tokoyami as the mastermind. That's interesting. All right, and then this is our survivor lineup. Should I spin for a traitor? I can, hmm. You know what? I'm going to add an extra roll here. Because I feel like Kaminar, uh, Tokoyami might need some help. Or multiple help. But for starters, let's just do one traitor. All right. So who is the traitor? I know I'm breaking the rules, kind of, sort of, but I kind of want to see. Koji. Koji? Actually, you know what? That's kind of that's fitting, in a way. I could see Koji being a traitor. Um, yeah, okay. So, let's remove Koji. So, I'm going to do... Okay, so... Koji Koda. Yeah. 
So should I do the thing I did last time where there was two alternate universes where um, one was the traitor, one was the mastermind? I forgot what video I did that for. I don't know. But anyway, so our survivors are Tenya, Ida. I'm surprised we actually had a protagonist make it this far without having to switch. Um, so Ida... Who should I write down? Let's put Kaminari. Ki Kaminari... Kyokajiro... Toru Hagakure... Of course she'd be able to survive. She's in, she's invisible. She could literally just, um, yeah, she could literally just use her ability and just stand there, and nobody would notice her. She's probably super O. She'd probably be super OP in a killing game. <laughs> so Hagakure, Mezo Shoji, uh, what was Mashiro Ojiro, Mashiro Ojiro, and. <laughs> Somehow, Minoru Mineta ended up surviving. Did Mineta end up being the Hagakure, the the Yasuhiro Hagakure of the group, as <laughs> where he just survives out of pure luck? I feel like that's what that's what happened. But yeah, here are our survivor. Here's the survivor lineup. I think we got a pretty, yeah, we got a pretty decent survivor lineup. I like the fact that I like that Ida and Kaminari survived. Um. We got one ship that survived out of all the ships um, in My Hero Academia. Um, yeah, I'm okay. With, yeah, I'm okay with Hagakure and Shoji and Ojiro surviving, mainly because um, at least in this game we'd get to see more, they'd get more screen time and we get to know more about them. Mineta became the Yasuhiro Hagakure of the group, and he ended up surviving out of pure luck. I know I keep again. I don't hate Mineta. Again, it's just you know how he is if you watch the anime. Uh, but yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't mind him surviving. But yeah, this is our survivor lineup, and that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you would like to see more, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!